2008 AP Micro FRQ number one, obviously Monopoly. Let's jump into it and see if we can do it. The graph above shows the demand and cost curves for a firm that does not price discriminate. Suppose the firm produces at the profit maximizing output using a label identify each of the following output and price. So we're going to go to where marginal revenue and marginal cost meet, that is profit max. We would explain that right here. That is profit max, where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Straight down shows our quantity, Q2. Straight up and bounce it off of the demand curve to the left. P5 is our price. Remember, this is not only demand, this is also demand, average revenue, and price. If this is your mister, this is your DARP. You have to bounce everything off the price curve. So P5, uh, suppose the firm produces the revenue maximizing output. We need to know that revenue maximizing is always where marginal revenue equals zero. So our quantity there would be Q3. We would explain that just by saying it's max revenue where marginal revenue equals zero giving the formula there and we would go straight up until again we hit the price curve and bounce straight to the left it looks like that's p3 all right um let's get rid of some of this stuff because it's getting a little hard to read all that all right i'm gonna get rid of those now it says, suppose that the government regulates the firm's price to produce the allocatively efficient level of output. No allocative efficiency is always where price equals marginal cost. So we find our marginal cost. This is obviously our price curve, where they come together. Looks like it's right there at G. Q4 and a price of P1. So the price would be P1 the efficient level of output. We could also have called that our social optimal quantity, our efficient level of output. Still, that means quantity. And we would be at Q4, it looks like. Suppose the firm produces at the allocatively efficient level of output. I gotcha. Would it be earning a profit or incurring a loss? Explain. Well, we can know at that quantity, Q4, our average total cost is above the price. So when your price is less than your ATC, you're definitely making a loss. So they are making a loss, and we would explain it just like that. Price is less than the ATC, therefore they're making a loss. Using a label on the graph, identify the area of profit or loss. So we just go straight up until we hit that ATC, we bounce to the left, and we're showing that rectangle of loss there. Um, does it say shade it in? Identify. So identify, I'd want to say maybe P1, P2, E, G. Could we say that? P1, P2, E, G. G. Um, all right, I think that's good. Using the labeling on the graph, identify the consumer surplus at the efficient level of output. Now remember, consumer surplus... Is everything above the price, but below the demand curve? So obviously it's just a triangle. Let me get rid of this here, because we don't need it. We do need to show where the price is. That's well, obviously we need to know where the price is at P1. Uh, and we could show this whole triangle here. Everything above the price, everything below demand would be consumer surplus. So using the labeling on the graph, could we say P1, P7, P1, P7, G? I think we can say that. Um, all right. Let's look at F. Suppose the regulators establish a price that allows the firms just to cover all of its opportunity cost. Tricky, tricky. Using the labeling on the graph, identify the price the regulators would set to achieve this objective. All right, not hard. First of all, we need to know 
that when a firm is at break even, it is covering all of its explicit and all of its implicit cost. So when a firm's price equals their ATC, that is what we should know is break even. We know that implies they're making zero economic profit. They're also making a normal profit. They are also covering all of their explicit and implicit costs. Explicit costs are anything you spend money on. It is your fixed costs. When I say fixed costs, you think of rent. Anytime I say variable costs, you think labor. Your implicit costs are your opportunity costs. Well, obviously, the very minimum, we better be covering these or we should have shut down. So to cover this also, and just to be covering it, implies that we are making zero economic profit or normal profit, and that we are at break even, that our price equals our ATC. So identify the price that they would use. P3, it looks like. All right, guys. Be safe. Take care. See you soon.